down to the next bottom. Garbage in, you expect garbage out. You know, a lot of times when you're trying to enter in medical data, you may hire three kids out of the high school because they typed or whatever, try to get that data in. Garbage in, garbage out. What I did is I came in two hours early before I started seeing patients, had their paper chart, and from their paper chart, I would enter the data personally of what I wanted in there, whether it's their medicines, whether it's their diagnosis, whether it's their allergies or whatever, for that initial counter. So those were hard. And you think that was hard, you ought to see me walking down with this chart that weighs five pounds and this tablet, one in each hand as I go into the rooms. Because the first month, we pulled all the charts, and I took the charts, and I transferred data over as I went. After about two or three months, I said, pull all the charts and stack them over here in the corner, and I'll get them as I need them, and I'll pull them. After six months, I said, I'll tell you when I want a chart. Because you've got to get the data transferred from there into your system, and the, you know, the last is you can start all over when you start with electronic health records. Most of your paper charts are worthless and crummy, and sorry if they were like mine. So that no need of putting all that crummy, sorry stuff into your electronic health record. Put what you need to take care of your patients. It's just going to take longer. You don't see more patients, but what you do find is that you will be coding higher because now you've got records of what you were already doing to, sub to substantiate you coding a little higher. So the, the money will go up not because you see more patients, but because you're but because you're coding higher. By the way, what happens that first year is this: is that your productivity goes down and your cost goes up because you're having to buy all this stuff. Now out here somewhere, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, they come back together. But you never stay up. You, I, I agree with you. You don't make more money because you have electronic health records. You're, I think you're, the quality of the care you give is better. But you won't generate more money because of it. Efficiency, productivity, and quality. Count your clicks. I got another partner in the practice. He counts clicks. Why do I have to click four times when I could have done it in two? To get to where I need to be. It makes a big difference. But you've got to think about it, and you've got to have your staff involved as you count clicks, and you try to become more efficient and more, so that you can become more productive. Don't do anything that, at all that somebody else can do as well as you can. If it's entering in data, let somebody else enter in the data. If it's sending letters, if it's doing whatever, you, try, you count the clicks, you try to see how it works. It's like I said, with writing my own letters to send to my patients, it's quicker than me doing four clicks to send to them to tell them to do it, so they do it, and then they send two clicks back to me to tell me they did it. So you count the clicks and determine what's best. And as Ray said, don't forget about the patient. I had a partner that had, he had tabletops, and he would sit here and type like this. <laughs> it doesn't work. We use a laptop, and I do carry my laptop in the office, but I set it on the exam table. They're sitting in the chairs between me and them, and I, I but templates, clicks, and talks, and everything else. Kids love it. They come around looking to see if I'm typing the right stuff. It works quite well, and it's, it really doesn't matter. But each person that we have partners that do, they go down on the counter, they go out, type, and come back in. It's just whatever helps your patient flow in your patient life. And just but pay attention to your patients, and if it is upsetting them, you may need to do something different. Remember to add bells and whistles. Do things. Most of these systems, that's a lot more than you start doing. And you need to make sure that you have an EHR, electronic health record, instead of an EMR, just electronic medical record. You just, you don't want just an electronic chart. You want the thing doing things. You want it to be doing disease registries. You want it to be able to give you protocols and information and helping you do a better job as a primary care physician to do what we need to do. Troubleshooting. What do you do when the lights go out? When the power goes off, the computer stops, what do you do? You know, me, I stand out in the hall until they come back on. <laughs> you have to decide what you're going to do. Because there was a time there that I thought I had my, hadn't had my stethoscope to practice medicine, but I get away without it. There was a time I thought I had my ink, had to have my ink pen to practice medicine, but now I, I might go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten patients before I realize I don't have an ink pen in my pocket. But my computer, when I walk in the door, if I don't have it, it's not running, I'm pretty useless. Now we come up with writing on paper and back of paper, and everybody hates it. Then you have to re-enter the data later if it's an hour or two. We've been lucky enough that we've never been down more than just 15, 20 minutes, though. We've never been down a long period of time, or at least when I was working, we haven't been. But you need to think about that. Who's responsible for what problem when it does go down? And who do you call? And when you realize you have a common problem, like everything's slowing down or you're getting kicked off the system, you need to have enough people trained to be able to solve that problem and get solved quickly. That the same person is not called every day for the same thing. And if you, you just take it down to the lowest level, who can fix it, let them fix the problem so you keep up and keep running. So you train as many people as you can to troubleshoot. 
and take care of problems. You will need professional help. Maybe psychiatric, maybe not. But you will need professional help with people working with IT as you get that. And remember, 